Yo, what's up YouTube? It's Garrison here and welcome back to the channel. So today I'll be sharing with you all my top 10 boy group comebacks of 2020. This list was honestly as difficult as my top 10 debuts of 2020, my top 10 girl group comebacks of 2020 as I was rolling things throughout uh, Excel spreadsheet, checking out every month of 2020 of what we've got received then. But hey, as I note in my previous videos, please be mindful that this is a bias list. Do not get offended if your favorite or favorites do not make my list as we have different tastes. And if you can relate well, though, let me know in the comment section down below if your list was similar, if you had your own uh, favorites. And yeah, other than that, let's just get into it, shall we? At number 10, Knock by Astro. First of all, for those who are still wondering who my bias is in Astro, it is Moonbin. I wouldn't say Knock is my favorite title track by them to date due to the angsty melody in the song, but I absolutely love the pre-chorus in the song and especially the bridge. The bridge in Knock has to be one of the best bridges they have ever done. I was blown away by the combo of Sana and Unwu in the bridge into Jinjin and Rocky's rap. Actually so good. So good. Overall, the boys keep impressing me with each and every release and I am looking forward to their comeback in 2021. At number 9, 1, also known as Lucid Dream by Golden Child. After Road to Kingdom, the boys came back in the month of June with the song, as the third song in the trilogy with Wannabe and With You which was also produced by Woolham's in-house producer Blessed, BLSSD. I absolutely loved the distorted bass slash electro sounds with the ticking of the percussion instruments at the start. But once the chorus first hit though, with the addictive bass guitar into the light strings with their vocals, it sold me that one is one of my top favorite title tracks by Golden Child. Throughout the entire song, there was no loose ends and everything was beefy as there were nuances in the song here and there. All in all, Golden Child keeps on delivering and I am so ready for their comeback in January of 2021. At number 8, Mayday by Victon. In my opinion, Victon is the type of group that has been pulling off a variety of concepts and will only continue to do so. Mayday has to be my favorite title track by them to date, as the song hits all check marks for me with the dark concept and how the chorus is not too over the top, which is good honestly, as sometimes I find songs having too much of a repetitive chorus can be sick and tiring. In Mayday, I love how groovy the song is and how the members' vocals were hella smooth. And especially, I loved Sung Woo's rap verses in the song. On another note, I am super excited for their comeback with their first full album as one of my favorite solo artists, Yuha, took part in the lyrics and in the composing for their upcoming title track. At number 7, Kick It by NCT127. I'm pretty sure we can all agree that Kick It has to be one of the most iconic releases by NCT127 from 2020. But I do believe that not everyone vibed the same way about the song, as we received pop heavier songs that were more popular such as Highway to Heaven by them in 2019. For me, I do love me some hip hop heavy songs, and Kick It does that for me. 
as it is a loud track filled with chant lines such as New Things and <laughs> Bruce Lee. The chorus was the most memorable part upon first listen, to be honest. I also loved how the bridge provided a clean transition into the final chorus. Honestly, there is numerous of loud songs that I can't keep on repeat, but Kick It, despite being over the top and loud, the song is not too loud and it has amazing longevity to it. <laughs> Number six, Good Guy by SF9. I always admired SF9's title tracks ever since Easy Love, but thanks to Fantasies and you have been showing that SF9 love, you have helped propel me into becoming a fantasy in 2020. I loved Summer Breeze as well, but Good Guy hits the mark for me as I loved the vocal layers in the song and the trap breakdowns. Good Guy is a song that hits the Deep House trend coming off of 2019, which is not a bad thing at all as Good Guy provides more of a funky energy compared to other Deep House influenced songs. Overall, I feel like SF9 deserves way more recognition considering what they have put out so far and how long they have been in the scene already. I hope more people will gravitate to them in the future, and I am super excited to see what they will put out next. At number 5, Blue Hour by TXT. I really wish that I didn't watch the MV on my own time instead of doing a reaction video because Blue Hour might honestly be my favorite title track by them. The track has laid back disco vibes and such an addictive rhythmic energy to it. I love how bright and high spirited the members were in the song and I especially liked how the consistency was shown by TXT in their whimsical concept for the music video when it came down to Blue Hour. Now, Yeonjun with the pink mullet, let's talk about that real quick. I actually digged his pink mullet with the cowboy hat. Even though I rarely like the cowboy getup that we've been seeing a lot by boy groups and girl groups. And I strongly do believe, like many others, that mullets are certainly hard to pull off. Anyways, I do not mind if TXT pulls out another song outside the pop genre, as TXT hit all the spots with their chill layback song, Blue Hour. At number 4, God's Menu by Stray Kids. First of all, Cooking Like a Chef, I'm a 5 star Michelin by Felix is one of the most iconic lines of 2020. I wouldn't say God's Menu is hands down my number one favorite title track by Stray Kids, but it was definitely one of my top five favorite title tracks by the boys now that I look upon what they have put out. I love how the song never lets up and how the synths were put out in the pre-chorus. Energy-wise, it reminds me of Double Knot, sort of, but with a bunch of brass instruments, which is not bad at all. All in all, it is hard to predict what Stray Kids will put out next in 2021 and in the future, as their style and identity as a group is niche amongst other boy groups. I hope to see the boys topping themselves in their next album, though, as they gave us amazing b-sides in their full and repackaged albums in 2020. And number three, Daisy by Pentagon. Some of you may already know I am a complete sucker for songs that emotionally captivate me or play with my heart. And Daisy is that kind of song. Upon first listen in my reaction, Pentagon really got me feeling nostalgic as the instrumental paired so well with their beautiful vocals and reminded me of certain second generation K-pop songs. 
Daisy was so refreshing and came out at the right time since retro and loud kind of songs came out at the time. Let's be real here, Pentagon deserved their first win way before Daisy, but I'm so glad they finally got it with all the members being present at the same time. Anyways, I have yet to listen to their B-sides to the mini album, so I'll be sure to do that at some point. Number two, Life Goes On by BTS. I know, I know, I haven't been putting out any videos to BTS these days and I'm disappointed in myself for not doing so as it, I've been dealing with horrible uh, things in life and awful timing uh, when it comes to their releases. But Life Goes On is a song that connected deeply with me, even though I am not a huge army. The song really provides the feeling of hope and strength as we all face the pandemic of COVID-19 together. I love how melancholy the song is with the steady going instrumental and of course paired with the boys angelic vocals at the same time i do appreciate how it's a type of song by bts that you can easily sing along or hum to due to the melody and hooks in it overall bts delivered a wide range of styles throughout all their songs in 2020. i could have placed dynamite or any other song by them here easily but life goes on was the most meaningful song by them for me from 2020. Number one answer by ATs. Most of us should know ATs' anthemic and hip hop but vocal heavy style, but I strongly believe that answer showcases it in the best way possible in the Treasure series. To be honest, I was going to put Inception or Thanks here, but after looking back at Answer, I had to place Answer as my personal number one song by a boy group in 2020, as it is not the only perfect ending to ATs' Treasure series but also a song that hits all categories for my taste in title tracks. ATs continued to deliver their unique pre-choruses, gave us another impactful chorus, and a gravitating bridge that led to such an explosive final chorus in answer. After reflecting upon ATs' discography though, I believe that their passion and ambition shows throughout their releases and music videos. So I'll be looking forward to their comeback with high expectations in 2021, considering that they keep impressing me with their title tracks and their B-sides as well. So that was it, my top 10 boy group comebacks of 2020. Let me know your top 10 boy group comebacks of 2020 if you want to in the comments section down below, or if you related well with my video in terms of your favorites being on the list, or if you enjoyed my reasoning behind my entire top 10 uh, boy group comebacks of 2020 but be sure to like share and maybe subscribe as it helps out the channel so so much have a great day have a good night have a good afternoon wherever you are though this has been garrison and peace